Hello, test mic 1, 2, 3, test mic 1, 2, 3, test mic. Okay, ready now. Just my hair. And... Okay. Despite the emergence of several online courses for web development, both paid and free, called Stills, Web Developer Bootcamp in Udemy remains one of the soft, most sought-after courses. The reasons are coming right now. There are pros and cons still on this course, and I would like to start with the cons first. If you are a total beginner with the web development, I would not really highly recommend this course, although it has the topics on HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and so, and says it is beginner-friendly. There are other courses that are more beginner-friendly, and it's almost like spoon-feeding you. If I'm a total beginner, I would prefer that way, actually. And if, and if I'm more comfortable, then take this course. The reason why I like spoon feeding is that if you started with HTML and CSS in a little bit of an advanced way of discussing it, you might get discouraged and think that web development is very difficult to learn, which actually it is. So you need a force that will really guide you, like hold your hand to learn the basics and from there you will develop your confidence in learning the language your chosen language if the moment comes that you are more comfortable with um, coding with HTML and CSS then I highly recommend this course in this course you will you can test your knowledge or your understanding of the HTML and CSS and they, it also has some exercises to yeah, build your own projects they are not too big projects but enough for you to test your knowledge second major con of this course in my own opinion is that it has a lot of content which seems to be a little bit of everything I would have appreciated if he put more content although the price for the price you can you can really go wrong with this one so a lot of content also means that squeezing the topics into videos and then not having enough exercises to let the topic sink in that on that part you probably need to be more resourceful find your own other resource to complement your studies and which may not be <clears throat> too convenient for you because you have to search another in another website or ask forums or ask or finding something in YouTube it's a, it's a good and nice thing it's good because you are practicing your your research skills it's bad thing because you're losing time especially if you're in a hurry of becoming a web developer or you want to be one soon you're a career shifter and you just resign from your full-time job and want to want to get into the field immediately uh, it's all it you can get information in this course but personally I still find myself researching for more resources let's go on to the pros of this courses and I listed four which is twice as many cons I listed most of course this course is very cheap only ten dollars and you already have lifetime access you have the ability to download although sometimes it changes not all courses offer that offer that feature but cost still i guess you can download ten dollars you can download it has a mobile app um, you can view it anytime offline or online whichever you choose ten dollar is a great investment on this course one is that it is always updated I bought this course a few years ago around three years ago and now it's 2019 I went back to it and it has updated uh, content for example one big one big example is updated bootstrap content when I bought this course it only has bootstrap bootstrap 3 and we all know that it already updated to bootstrap 4 
now it has the boot shank for as an additional uh, part of the course it's really awesome and what's the good thing about Cold Steel is he is very generous he even included a video comparing the two versions of bootstrap and to help your understanding or your learning Another big thing when I went back to this course after three years or so is that Cold Steel hired a course TA I forgot the meaning of TA maybe it's technical assistant um, it's his name is Ian and he is very responsive to students questions because of the because of the popularity of this course even if Ian is not around maybe he's busy or something it already developed an active community of students where other students can answer your questions yeah, yeah it, it also gives you a feeling of being in a classroom and which is really great if the TA won't answer your question, he's gonna send you a link that that will help your concern. So, because there's one time I tried to ask a question that's not related to the topic being discussed. It's like I'm building this personal project and I can find the answer or straight answer anywhere. And I thought about asking uh, asking inside called still. Cold Steel's course because I know there's a there's a dedicated answering machine something like that and I was glad he helped me it was very generous of them so the, the last pro is the manner of teaching of call while going through the course you can somehow get to know him better and you can tell that he's really very passionate about teaching he even describes himself as either web developer who's, uh, who's, who specializes in teaching or teachers who specializes in web development. I don't know where I watched that part of his video but yeah it's, he is very genuine with this discussion and he even offers pep talks in between of the topics whenever he is gonna shift to a more difficult topic like when he shifted to back end part of the course he discussed that or he recorded a part of the video that offers pep talk like yeah it's difficult but you just have to do this and do this and do this and eventually you're gonna get it somehow you just need to re-watch the video over and over again and that repetition has formation oh no there's no repetition with that oh no 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 there's no formation without repetition. So, really just motivating and inspiring. Also, he injects some form of humor in in the videos. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. Well, it, it probably is an American humor. Um, what else? He also spends time to clarify his choice of topics, especially when he discusses his why he chose node over php and the future of node so it also helps the student decide on, of the language choice to pursue and then he eventually said it doesn't matter because web development technology changes almost regularly so don't bother giving i mean of course you will have to bother yourself but don't put too much pressure on yourself in learning whatever you learn in one language you can carry it over to other language it's the syntax it's the logic itself that matters that's all i can say for for cold steel's web developer course if you're asking if you're gonna ask me if i recommend it of course i recommend it as i as i said he's always updating the topic um i did not mention he also included a note js bonus section in his course and now that it is very popular i believe he is gonna update the, the course even more and i hope he's not gonna create a new course with more updated topics well in the description of course he mentioned that he promised to update the course as much as possible so i hope he intends to keep that they support the guy, he's a great guy and 
watch out for more videos like this i intend to review other online school so if you have any requests just put them in the comment section below if you want to see my reviews just click the subscribe button and the bell button so you can be immediately notified thank you for watching